Greetings. I am Akiva Kenny Segan, artist and uh, Holocaust tolerance genocide educator, creator of the Under the Wings of God Holocaust art series and the companion human rights series called Sightseeing with Dignity. And I'm with uh, Under the Wings of God drawing number 56, uh, which I did in, what year did I do that? 2007, five years ago. The, uh, I don't have the print, the photo that I had gotten from the uh, kind of, uh, Center for Jewish Documentation about the Holocaust that's in Milan, Italy, Milano, although uh, some time after I first saw the photograph, which I'll explain in a minute, I uh, saw the photograph reproduced in a book, uh, the uh, book by uh, Susan Zaccati, the uh, scholar called The Italians and the Holocaust, Persecution, Rescue, Survival. And um, I've actually used several photos in this book. The um, Jewish forced laborers in 1942 working along the banks of the Tiber River I uh, used as a portion of the uh, Underlings of God drawing called uh, Italian Jewish Resistance Hero and Martyr Eu Geno Curiel, Castel Sant'Angelo, which is uh, the uh, um, Hadrian's tomb here in the background of the photo, and my flying chi, Obi Juju Kenobi. And I did a drawing of uh, Leone Ginsberg, who was uh, the son of a Jewish family from Odessa in Russia, who was. Italian Jewish himself, and um, was a resistance hero and martyr. Also, he was uh, tortured and murdered at the, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Regina Coeli prison in Rome during the uh, German Austrian Nazi occupation. Natalia Ginsberg, the uh, late Italian Jewish author, was his wife. Um, uh, Eugeno. Curiel uh, was murdered in, I forget, 1945. He was a physicist and anti-fascist uh, writer. Um, and Rita Rosani, who was the only woman to die in combat against the Nazis and fascists in Italy, was a Jewish young woman, a teacher from Trieste. It's like in northwest Italy. And uh, she died in combat. I depicted her in the drawing. And um, there's a, a Eugenio Curiel on the upper right there. I first saw the photo of uh, Fiorella Anticoli at Yad Vashem's Children's Museum. I was on my first teaching trip to Israel in 1999, uh, October. And uh, I'd gone to Vienna first to see a now deceased uh, Holocaust survivor, refugee from Vienna, who I knew in Seattle. He and his wife were both refugees from Nazi Vienna. And then I proceeded to Israel, to Jerusalem, to this conference, I was touring the Children's Museum at Yad Vashem, the Israeli Holocaust Memorial, and saw this photograph. And as soon as I saw it, I realized, I said, I have to draw her in the series, uh, uh, particularly taken by the fact that she was young, a girl, and she was holding an accordion. The uh, Later, uh, I uh, ordered a copy from the CDEC in Milano, sent them some money to cover the printing and postage, and they mailed me a black and white print, which I used. Susan Zaccati's caption states, uh, Fiorella and Ticoli, age 12, the child was captured in the Rome Roundup with the mother, siblings, grandparents, and several aunts and uncles. She alone survived Auschwitz and was evacuated by the Nazis to Bergen-Belsen. That was a concentration camp in Germany. In November 44, American troops who liberated that camp in April 1945 circulated a group photo that included her. Her father, Marco, saw it in Rome and hoped for her survival, but she died in a hospital at Bergen-Belsen on May 31, 1945. I believe she had typhus. And um, I... As you'll notice, she's whole and intact here, although for various reasons, 
not so personal. I broke the image of her into two sections. The upper part of her head, her eyes, hair, and her nose is part of it. It's a pen and ink over gouache, which is a kind of like watercolor comes in tubes and you mix water with it and brush it on and then I did that like the sky like background and then I did the pen and ink drawing over that I had had cataract surgery uh, surgeries this summer I did this and the first two drawings I did eyes were a focal point this is one of them the other one was in the Companion Sightseeing with Dignity series depicting a uh, Mexican medical student who uh, vanished, uh, I believe it was in 1974, in Mexico uh, for his political uh, activities. He was uh, murdered. His name was Jesus, interestingly enough, which is Jesus in Spanish. Um, and um, also, in the, there are two panels in the drawing I did of him. Uh, here, in the lower section, we have uh, her accordion, if you realize accordion. Also, a lot of fine line dots and uh, cross hatching and line drawing with the India ink over the gouache. Some gestural lines here and there. And uh, her three of her fingers seen on the keyboard as you see in the photo reproduced in the book. So there you have it. Dislocation is one reason. Dislocation in every sense of the word in terms of what happened to this beautiful young girl and her uh, murder which did not have to happen as the Holocaust did not have to happen. It's like so many wars going on today and genocides and hate crime do not have to happen. People need to speak out about injustice wherever it's happening and whenever. That's it. Thank you, everybody.